This is Corey Latigra, and we are here at Sacri Fox. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Best, you know, it's an uh, unusual name. And I'm here talking to Bill Davies, the drummer from Hand of Fire. And uh, I met him actually at the entrance with him and his other bandmates coming in. So we kind of connected right before all this. So um, welcome, welcome to Power and Pounders, Drum Magazine. So just tell me a little bit about how you got started playing drums, uh, your background in drumming, and so forth. Uh, I started playing drums when I was nine and a half. Um, you know, uh, back you know, early, very early eighties, okay. sticks okay. era yeah. to ACDC. Okay. You know, grew up playing that stuff, mantras, and so when I was in sixth grade, it was my first show on cable TV in front of thousands of people, and that pretty much right there inspired me to keep going, yeah. playing drums, loved it. Um, and then uh, started working uh, doing jam nights at like 16 years old, out playing with a lot of older musicians, more seasoned musicians at a young age. Um, and uh, yeah. Um, did you play like any, any cover bands? And cover bands, okay, original yeah. bands, yeah. so many bands. Gotcha, gotcha. Who are some of your influences? Who Would be up? Tommy Aldridge. Okay. On drums. Cool. Neil Purr. Okay, Rush, yeah. Um, you know, and I like Dave Lombardo. Okay. As a yeah. drummer, I think he's yeah. real Previously excellent. from, from Slayer? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, what, what, I saw you guys on YouTube, and that's how I got you guys' name. Because I didn't know, I knew like maybe three of the bands, you know, from previous years. And so I kind of YouTube you guys. I like your sound, man. Huh? Really Thank cool, heavy. Right. You know, so now, did you always play um, metal or did you play any other genres? No, um, I worked a lot playing top 40. Okay. A lot. Yeah. Uh, you know, when I was a teenager, I was in a metal band, thrash metal band. Yeah. But then, for a lot of years, I didn't play thrash metal. And then, Met Jim and the fire. And yeah. He let me hear some stuff and I liked it. And you know, and it's been hard work and trying to find that speed. Yeah, to, yeah. You know, gotcha. And yeah. working it back out, getting the getting double well, pedals. Yeah, rolling. yeah. Well, especially coming from top forty to to metal. I mean, that's you know, <laughs> that's two couple of different genres. I grew up playing Motown and then metal. You know, so. More pocket grew yeah, more yeah, than yeah. yeah. So now, when you went into the band, did you audition for the band, or did they just say, you know, um, we want you to come in? Me, the singer, and the bass player were in another band. Um, I'm not going to mention the name. That's okay. Uh, That's okay. <laughs> um, and uh, that guitarist, you know, had a bad attitude, this and yeah. that, and. So we kind of started our own thing, okay. you know, without that guy. Yeah. So all originals or originals? Original yeah. Stuff? Okay. Great. Great. Now, do you have any formal lessons, training? Are you self-taught or what? Self-taught mainly self -taught. by ear, but I did do lessons and okay. you know through uh, junior high and high school. You okay. know, first Makes snare, it. snare. Makes so it, yeah. I know a little bit. <laughs> I think everybody starts on the rudiment stuff. You know, yeah. it's like. Da, 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 da. Yeah, marching bands, you know, <laughs> yeah, football yeah. field marching. Yeah, exactly. So now, what's going on with the band? Are you guys um, touring? Or where, first of all, where are you from? Where are you guys I'm, from? I'm from Castro Valley, California. Okay, so you, where is that? Is that northern? Or? That is, uh, what would that be? It would be uh, 20 miles east of San Francisco, 25. Okay, okay, I got you, okay. So now, are you guys touring? Are you, will you sign with it? You no, know, right now we're in the works of, uh, you know, new music, writing new okay. music. Um, not really in the tour thing because I have, you know, a job. Okay. I got to attend to this yeah. and that. But if something good comes up, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Exactly, man. Yeah, you so. got to pay the bills. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you got to mortgage the bills. Yeah, so. yeah. That's a good. You got to pay the bills. Yeah. You know. So now, how did you, how did it come from from you know, the drum background? How did you end up becoming a Christian? What's your testimony? <laughs> You know, when I was a teenager, I, um, 
you know, started hanging out with, you know, Christian. Yeah. Um, and I almost went in, but music and life, and I just didn't go down that road at that time. And here I am coming back to it, and feeling more peace with people, and people are, and Christian people are yeah. more at peace. Great. Yeah, and a lot of things are out in the world. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, um, so I'm you, just, I'm learning. Yeah, you know, you know it's, it's, it, it doesn't matter how long a person's been a Christian, you know, it's all baby steps in God's eyes. You know, we're still taking baby steps. We still have to mature. You know, there, there's a lot of things, even if a person's been a Christian, you know, 20 plus years, there's still a lot to learn about the Lord. So, you know, when He came to, into your heart, you knew there was a change. What, what was that change that you knew that, you know, Jesus is real? Uh, me, uh, the whole band, we all sat in a circle and prayed together. Okay. And right there, did I kind of had a, yeah. you know, a, a, a electric feeling, you yeah. know, through yeah. my body kind of thing. So I was, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. great. Yeah. Like, a, like a tingling. Yeah. 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 Oh, cool, right. man. Belief, yeah. Know, like, yeah, it was there. So, so he did he like, did the Lord like deliver you from you know alcohol and drugs and I, stuff like that. My family, and, yeah, I grew up around a lot yeah. of that. And, so. Yeah, but you know, just keep being a witness, man. You know, sometimes family is the hardest to reach. So you know, keep doing what you're doing, and you know, like that's good. Your, your band gets in that circle and prays, because that's the most powerful thing, especially. You know, in this style of music, you know, the metal, the metal community, the Christian circle, it, you know, we need that because there's a lot of bands. You know, there's some secular bands I still like, but you know, still, when you when you give me your life to Christ, you know, it can change all. That. So just keep doing what you're doing. You know, and praise God. For yeah, it. I'm going the right direction. All right, great man. It's good talking to you, yeah, man. It's great, great talking to you. you know, and I know you guys got to get going, setting up. Yep. So yeah, I'll check are. you guys out. Let me tell you guys. All right, going. that'd be great. Uh, seven. Seven. Okay. Okay. Because I guess there was some confusion going. Yeah, on. we're supposed to be on a six, and then we got bumped to seven. <laughs> okay, I have no idea what time it is. So, all right, all right, Bill. It was nice talking Thank to you. Thank you. I'll be Thanks checking again. you guys out, man. All right. right on. Thank you. God bless you. We were talking to Bill Graves from the band. Uh, uh, hands of Fire, and uh, this is Coran Tiger from Power and Pounders, and uh, we have some other drummers that we're going to be interviewing, so we'll be right back. Take care. Hello, this is Coran Tigra, and I am here at the Psycho Box Music Fest um, here in Downing, California, and uh, we're just kind of interviewing different uh, musicians, drummers, and um, uh, basically it's been really good. It's, it's, it's a lot of good good bands, and so um, this is Coran, and you're watching Power Pounders Magazine. Thank you.